Like you show love? Mm-hmm. Girl. Wait, massages. I take him for walkies. So if you hold them like this, and you do this, where you move the top of their scalp, mm -hmm. apparently they really like that. You know, we might be liking it right now, so uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> uh -oh. I'm, I'm not so sure he likes that. <laughs> but Luna would probably like it. And right here behind the ears. Yeah, he loves that. Why would you look this up? Only you would do this. Alright ladies, so a lot of people know already who you guys are. Can you tell us a little bit about you girls? Well, I'm the favorite. <laughs> Is that who? Who votes for this? I, I just, I'm not well, We really both sure. had red hair. I mean, we know who is the best hair. It was me. I really thought you jogged all my stuff. I think my first tutorial I watched of you, it was like some sort of rainbow situation. Rainbow, rainbow eyeshadow. Rainbow eyeshadow. Yeah. That was a and lot. I was like, she's not like me. Um, all right, let's make breakfast. Yeah, I need this. How big should I get the, how big of a bowl do you want? Um, I want like a pretty bowl. Excuse me. Are these washed? Oh, girl, no. You nasty. <laughs> I eat all these pesticides. <laughs> I try to get some of the bananas, but these are not that right. I was making a yogurt bowl this morning. My favorite thing for breakfast. But a little bit about myself, I guess, if you're new here. I'm Whaley. I am 26 years old. She's my best friend, Sophie. Hey. <laughs> What is this in your hair? Did we met online, um, when we I DM'd you? I think that's how it started, at least our first conversation. I found out she was going to the same college as me, and so I, I think I hit her up. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, but she, apparently she still has the messages. I do. But I am Sophia, and I'm from Virginia. I came to LA in 2010 for school. Um, I've been doing YouTube since 2010. 2010. Basically when you moved here. That's been like my only career thus yeah. far. Mm -hmm. I mean, I used well, to work at my parents' gas station yeah. growing up. Oh, and then I worked the, at Mac. What about the place? Thank you, okay, Harley. Yeah. about that. I, <laughs> <laughs> She's really gonna like, call me out. I had little side gigs, but you know, I was so young. I've been out here in LA ever since, and it was, I met Whaley along the way. Mm -hmm. and, We've been inseparable ever, ever since. since. Yeah, and then you moved to SF and you left me. Yeah, but we don't have to talk about that. Think about leaving again, that's the end of our friendship. And that's a fact, okay? We can't do long distance? What do you mean? <laughs> no, we did. We actually did long distance, and we are the type of friends who don't need to talk every day. Yeah. We'll talk like once every three months, and those convos would be so long. I and know. most of those convos were like, you walk out into a fight. <laughs> he did this, and he did that, and I'm like, mm, girl. Oh, thanks. Mm. So you know everything, huh? I know everything. Oh, she knows. Know about Out of us two, though, I am the crazy one, huh? Mm hmm. I'm the grandma. Well, who's prettier? Now we'll say yours because you took all the nice strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ladies tell us a little bit about woman? Oh my god. Woman has been a journey. A really fast yeah. journey. Woman is a woman's apparel line. Yes, it is. That we started with my sister and Luke, mm -hmm. her business partner. And if you guys don't know about Robin, she actually has a fashion background. So she used to work at a big company in New York called Theory. So talented. She's so talented. So she helps us with designing. Yeah. I mean, we come up with the ideas and the styles that we want, and then yeah. we all kind of just work together. Woman is essentially Robin, me, and Whaley's taste kind of merged right. and married uh -huh. into one, which is really great because there'll be a piece for anyone. Mm -hmm. And we kept the pieces really clean mm -hmm. and simple, but still... It's like they're everyday things that you can wear, mix and match. Yeah. The idea of woman came about because we wanted to create something together. Mm -hmm. We've been best friends since 2012. And honestly, I don't trust anyone else with business but you. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's deep. And I never said that to you in person mm -hmm. before. But that's... Know? But that's some real shit. I trust your work ethic. I trust your eye. Yeah, we, we actually had a conversation about this before <clears throat> we got into business together. Because I think it's necessary if you're 
gonna start a new venture with someone close, mm -hmm. whether it's family or a good friend. You should have that conversation and I felt confident with working with Whaley. I knew mm -hmm. It was just something that I always wanted to do. We talked about creating so many different things. We'll literally be at our house like, we've got to make something one day. Like, what mm -hmm. could we do? And yeah, now we're, yeah. We, something's happened. I know. It's like a small family owned business. We have like a team of like less than 10 people. Less than 10 people. Mm -hmm. Whaley and I funded this ourselves. Yeah. We don't have any right. big investors or and mm -hmm. nothing's wrong with that, but that's truly like how much this hits home for us. Yeah. We can easily have another company come in and be like, okay, here's a chunk of money, mm -hmm. make a product mm -hmm. and let's just sell it. Mm -hmm. But we know that with that, we don't get to have the values that mm -hmm. we want in a company. Mm -hmm. So with this, we just dished out our own money. We're like, girl, we're doing this. It's crazy. No matter what happens, it's our baby and yeah. we're just gonna keep fighting for it and yeah. keep trying to make it better because obviously we're not perfect and we don't know what's gonna happen, yeah. you know, after it launches, but it's a scary feeling yeah. to start mm -hmm. something. Like, will it do well? Will it not? Like, will people also feel aligned with us? But yeah. we're just gonna have to see. So that's woman. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did I answer you got, your question? You got more time? <laughs> so it sounds like woman is more than just a clothing brand. What can you guys tell us about conscious clothing. So, conscious clothing. If you asked me three years ago, and yeah, exactly three years ago, I was still supporting fast fashion fully. It was the only place that I would get my clothing because it was affordable, you know, and I would never even think twice about what fast fashion truly meant. I never thought about where my clothes were made, who was making them, um, the fabrics that are used. As long as I got a bargain, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't until like about three years ago where it was brought to my attention about the crisis that our environment is in. Mm -hmm. I started realizing that the fashion industry was actually really polluting to our environment mm -hmm. um, more than I ever thought it was. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, I realized that a lot of the companies that I supported growing up that I loved and had such a good reputation were exploiting their workers. They weren't paid fair living wages. Yeah. They work so hard, so many hours, and they can't even support their family. I learned about conscious clothing through Robin mm -hmm. because like I mentioned she started her clothing line and she's so passionate about it I find the importance and yeah in that and sustainability because like Whaley said fashion is one of the biggest contributors to pollution on this planet so we knew that when we created this brand like okay if we love clothes and mm -hmm. that's a known thing you know mm -hmm. we'll always want new styles but how can we do it in a way where we're not harming the environment so much yeah. you know in a way where we feel proud that we're providing jobs for other people um, safe environment for people that are working mm -hmm. that was one of the most important things about the brand when we were starting it mm -hmm. like how can we still fulfill what we love about fashion but in a way where we're not doing so much harm yeah. and also inspiring other people to want to do the same if no one talks about it in your circle and you're not watching videos where people are talking about it you'll just never know yeah and you're not wrong for not knowing we can all just be respectful of each other and try to help each other understand and doing the small steps like right. as a whole the small steps is what really matters i used to shop at fast fashion stores but as i reach adulthood i've realized i'd rather spend a little bit more on a piece that mm -hmm. isn't hurting the environment as much oh, and people making it? I can wash it and it's still gonna have life to it. So that's pretty much what conscious clothing means to us. Again, we don't know everything. We're still learning as we go, but mm -hmm. I'm really glad that we're implementing that into women because it's, it's important to us. I think our goal is to keep bettering ourselves, to keep having this community and also just inspiring other people to want to do the same, whether it's through supporting women or just on your day-to-day -day lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We just hope that one day, Conscious clothing mm -hmm. is the new norm, you know? Like how, how amazing would that be? Preach, sister. Ooh, rejected. No, he was like, kiss me on this side. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> bye. Oh, you like my new ring? Oh, no. actually it probably does. Is this how it should fit? Whaley. This is right. Is this how it should fit? I don't know, <laughs> it just popped right off. You tell me. Sometimes I wonder about your girlfriend. <laughs> oh. I actually, I want to talk about something. Mm -hmm. What do you want to talk about? How do we come up with the name woman? Oh. Mm. So the first one we came with, came up with was Fika. Mm. F-I-K-A. It's like a break time to have coffee. Mm. Yes. So, yes. And that's cute. Yeah, and that's really cute, but there's like 10 companies out there named Fika. <laughs> <laughs> and it's more suiting for like a cafe. It is. So. But every time we would get excited about uh, a name, a name mm -hmm. we're like, let's look it up. Oh, darn. It's taken. What was it before woman? 
it was wom womanish. Oh, oh, I'm so glad we didn't do womanish. Though. Yeah. So we went with woman, which is short. We just dropped the e, and then we added the period just to like make it mm. pop. Yeah. Like, woman. Like woman. It's like a statement, you yeah. know. So we added the yeah. period. <laughs> but wow, I'm so happy with that name mm -hmm. because it really resonates with us and us reaching this early, early womanhood. womanhood. Mm -hmm. And we just want to celebrate all women. Yeah. And use it as a platform where it's not just about clothes and fashion, mm -hmm. but where we're talking about important things going on in the world, mm -hmm. highlighting special important women, whether they're very successful or startups. Like mm -hmm. we want to use this platform to talk about all of that. I guess something we could talk about is, can you tell us a little bit about how and where it's made? Our factories are here in downtown LA, which is awesome because Amazing. we can go in whenever we want, check on the pieces. It's really nice because everything is here local. Everyone's paid fair living wages. Mm -hmm. um, the factories are clean. We're eliminating having to ship things overseas or get things from overseas. Since the clothes are made locally, what is pricing like? With pricing, we are mid-range. Mm -hmm. So we're not, and we know that we're not the cheapest option out there, mm -hmm. but we're also not high-end. Our prices are mid-range, and if you look at other competitors that are kind of in our space, I think we're priced very competitively. Yeah. Because everything is made here in LA, mm -hmm. and anything that is usually made domestically is more expensive, mm -hmm. so we have to factor in all of that. We also have to pay the workers in our company, we also have to buy the fabrics. Um, so there's just a lot that's involved in the price, but we wanted to make sure that no matter what, we're still making making it fair mm -hmm. for the quality that you're paying for. Agreed. <laughs> what? How did that just fall? What? All right, ladies, so you guys told us a lot about the clothing and everything, and I feel like sizing is such an important thing with clothing. Yeah. What is sizing like for women? Take it away. <laughs> Sizing for women, right now we have a range from extra small to extra large. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to be more inclusive in the future. Mm -hmm. Please keep in mind that this We're is a startup. startup and we started this ourselves mm -hmm. and it's very costly to dive right mm -hmm. into that and trying to be all inclusive. Mm -hmm. Just know that it is the goal in the future and we 100%. we hear mm -hmm. you. We know that, you know, this will be an ongoing topic mm -hmm. and that's we would love that more than anything. Yeah. It's just not within our means right now. So some plans that we have for the future, we want to have petite sizes as well. We want to have plus sizes. Just know that we are working hard and that that day will come. Yes. Um, so we really thank you guys for your support regardless and also just understanding that we are a small startup company we'll get there one day we will yeah that is our one of our huge goals yes so you can count on it yeah so <laughs> hope you guys are excited <laughs>So for this first collection, we actually sourced our fabrics from Deadstock Fabrics. And some of you may wonder, what is Deadstock Fabric? I actually did not know what Deadstock Fabric was mm. until this year. So basically what happens with fabrics that are produced by larger companies is that they produce too many and they don't need them anymore. So what they do is send them to a warehouse and these fabrics just sit for years and years, sometimes 30 plus years, which is insane. I know. And there's a ton of Deadstock warehouses in Los Angeles where mm -hmm. we have been to. When you walk in, there's just so many it's fabrics sitting crazy. there. It's collecting crazy. dust. Just a lot of yeah. waste. A lot of waste. And sometimes you would see these fabrics, they're like maybe 200 yards, 300 yards. So that's why a lot of the bigger fashion houses, they may not need those anymore and then they're dumped. Right. So if you think about that, how wasteful is that really, right? And these fabrics are beautiful. So pretty. They're still perfectly good yeah. and you can still use them. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where we got the inspiration for this first collection. We mm -hmm. really wanted to rescue these fabrics because they are still so good. We definitely wanted to give these fabrics a second life. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, let's jump into the Pick collection. collection. By the way, if you guys have not seen the lookbook already yet, it is up on Sophie's channel. I love that video. You guys can see how we styled the pieces. Also, if you want to see photos of the pieces, you can go to our website, woman.co. All the links will be in the description box below, so y'all know sure the deal. Check it out. <laughs> All right, so now we want to show you guys our pieces, piece Yay! by piece. Yeah. Starting with the Jess top. Love this, this would, top. I know, this would have to be my favorite top. Same. I've been wearing it ever since I was allowed to. <laughs> I know. You guys may have caught on my Instagram. <laughs> I've been wearing it ever since I got them. So a cute crop top. We have four colors. Heather gray. We have ivory. And then we have mauve. And my personal favorite, 
Nude pink. Nude pink. This fabric is really nice because, I mean, you just have to feel it for yourself. There's no shirt with this kind of material that I own. This is the softest crop top ever and it's ribbed. Yeah. So it just looks really nice on the body. So we love, love, love this top. There's the dress top. Now the second piece in our collection would be the Nora skirt. Mm, Nora skirt. Oh, Nora, Nora, she cute. She cute. She cute. <laughs> and you can wear her through fall summer i can see us wearing this with some booties you can wear it with sandals sneakers yes it's so cute you can wear these with sneakers with the dress top um or you can wear some sandals with a little mm -hmm. heel make it sophisticated yep. boots for the fall i mean yeah. it's really dress it up or down yeah. whatever you like so for the nora skirt we have four shades we have military green beauty navy love <laughs> this is Robin's favorite color. This is Robin's favorite color. Yeah. She loves navy. This is my favorite color. This yeah. is chocolate. Mm -hmm. I love to style the chocolate with the pink nude top. It just, it goes so good together. And we also have... Good old black. Good old black. Goes Can't with go anything. Wrong. Very slimming. So with the Nora skirt, like we mentioned earlier, we're using dead stock fabric. So each skirt in a different shade may vary on just texture and feeling right. slightly. Mm -hmm. It's very, very slight. And if we did not mention it, to be honest, I don't think you would be able to tell. That's the beauty of dead sock fabric because every piece is unique. Mm -hmm. um, so we tried our best to match them, but they are slightly different mm -hmm. um, and they're all limited because once they're gone, they're, they're gone. gone. <laughs> yep. We basically went to the factories and grabbed whatever was left in that fabric because we didn't want to waste anything. Mm -hmm. So that's how these skirts came about. Since this whole collection is with dead sock fabric, each piece will vary a little bit. So this military <clears throat> green may have a slightly different feel than the chocolate, mm -hmm. um, but Robin, Whaley, and I did the best that we can to find fabric that um, is most similar. Right. But that's Honestly, the special thing about dead stock fabric. Right. Every piece is unique in its own way. That's the beauty of it and mm -hmm. we're so glad that we were able to rescue these fabrics and create what we did so just keep that in mind for every piece in our collection there may be some slight variation but very very minimal all right i think we covered the yep. north shirt mm -hmm. time for the flint, flint top. top okay this is the flint top she's casual she cute. she's comfy she's effortless i'm wearing the navy robin's favorite robin's you favorite mean, anything navy robin. robin she's like we need that color <laughs> and then anything oatmeal yeah I'm like, yes, we need that color. I know, I'm the same boat. Um, and then we have a good old white. The heathered oatmeal and the navy feel about the same in weight. I know. So they're very soft, very easy. And it drapes really nicely. Mm -hmm. It has more of a drapey feel. Mm -hmm. Whereas the white, it's more structured, more boxy. Mm -hmm. But it's a look. You can see here, it kind of flares at the bottom. Yeah, so it has a bell sleeve, which right. is really great. Um, kind of gives it that chic, you know, when you're talking. Yeah, you're taking I know. photos, you kind of just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your ring's Hello. peeking through a little bit. It's a very just casual, everyday piece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can dress it up or down. You can tuck it in your jeans or maybe just tuck the front. Yeah. Or you can wear it with skirts. Great. Okay. That's it for the top. Yes. Okay. First, we're going to go over the Emma pants. We have three shades. We have stone, which is this beautiful... Uh, I want to say like off-white, off-white kind of gray, mm -hmm. cool tones. A true stone True color. stone color. Mm -hmm. And then we have khaki, which we don't have with us, but we'll put a photo on right the screen. Here. It's a true khaki as true well. True khaki shade, <laughs> yes. I like to wear the stone shade with the white flint top. It's so nice. You can wear it just full length, but Whaley and I like to roll it up. Mm -hmm. It just gives it a nice casual feel, and that looks super cute. And you can also wear it with bodysuits too. Yes. Bodysuits. Yes. Real cute. And next pant we have, they're pretty similar, but we wanted to jazz it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So this right here, she is the carry pant. Carry. So the carry pant, what's different is really just this pleat right here. Very, very subtle difference, but when you wear it, you can totally tell that they're different. It has this pleat right here. We kind of got inspo from like a carrot shape. Yeah. We wanted the pants to feel like a carrot shape. Yeah. And we like to roll it at the bottom as well. It just gives you this nice, really cute, poofy look. Yeah. So it's we like love more it. like volume on the top and then kind of tapered towards the bottom. Yeah. So we we have it in two shades. Yes. This is mustard. And then we also have stone. Like one cool shade and a few warm shades. Yes. You know? Okay. That little sexy thing. Yes. This is right on my alley. Yeah. This was kind of like I was pushing this dress because I love I love showing off my back. Mm -hmm. I think it's just so she got a nice back. So you got a nice back too. Oh thank you. <laughs> this dress we love so much. Yeah. And you can dress it up or down, really. We have worn it with sneakers. Mm -hmm. We have worn it with heels. Mm -hmm. We have worn it with booties. Mm -hmm. So you can just take it wherever you want it to go. We've been through a lot with this dress. We've had the most 
almost fittings mm -hmm. with this dress, trying to perfect it because of the open back and the straps. Mm -hmm. This dress has gave us a lot of I know. problems, but we finally figured it out. This dress is not too revealing by any means because in the front, you're pretty covered. Yeah. And then you turn around and it's like, bam, bam. hey girl. It comes in two shades. We have black and olive. It's soft and it's lined on the inside, so Ooh, we won't yes. see any panties. Yes. It's yeah. an easy dress. It's one of those dresses that when you don't know what you want to wear, you just put this on. You just put this on. And you're going to look cute. Yeah. Like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to our next piece. Bonnie pullover? Yes. This is this, this is life. Okay. This is the Bonnie pullover. L listen. A woman got to be dressy, but she also has to have her down cozy casual look. Yes. And this is this is that. The Bonnie pullover comes in two colors. We have heathered gray and white, and it has a really nice zipper here. Yeah, and we added this circle attachment just so it's mm -hmm. like Whoops. easy access. Yep. You know. Yeah. At first we were like, should we take this off? But I love the way this looks. When you have it on, it's such a right. nice touch, and it's easy to pull up and down. The white is a little bit more structured, and the gray is more heathered. relaxed. Yeah, more relaxed, mm -hmm. more drapey but you can have the option to pull the collar up or have it down. We like to wear it down. I like to wear it up. You and know? you can wear these with jeans. I like to wear them with jeans, but if you really want to make it super comfy, casual, you can wear it Sweats. with sweatpants yeah. or leggings, yes. whatever you want. And I think that wraps it up for our seven pieces. Yes. We decided to start with seven, not too much, not you too You don't want to overwhelm you guys. And also we don't like to overwhelm ourselves right. too. We hope you guys love these pieces as much as we do. Yeah. And oh, it's just going to be crazy when we see them on you guys <sighs> as well. Oh, wait. I can't wait to see how you guys style it. It's going to be so different because yeah. every piece should just speak to you. Mm -hmm. So however you want to style it, mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. And make sure you guys tag us. We would love to see your photos. Yeah. Moving on, another thing that was really important to us when we were starting this brand mm -hmm. is that we wanted to give back to our community. So like we said earlier, we did not want to just be a clothing line and that's it. We really want this to be a community. We want us to all talk about, you know, fashion, but also about our communities and how we can help. So we reached out out to Downtown Women's Center, which is a shelter for women here in downtown LA. And we thought this was perfect because it's right in our home and it's something that's really close to us. Mm -hmm. Both Sophie and I have lived in downtown. You've lived here for... I lived in downtown for four years. Four years. And then I was here for one year. And something you don't see about downtown LA in media is the that homelessness. the homelessness is an issue. Depending on where you are in downtown, you may or may not see it. But for us, we lived very close to that neighborhood mm -hmm. and we know that it's a big issue and we really wanted to give back and help these women so we're very happy to say that we have partnered with them and that every purchase that you guys make a portion of that will go towards the downtown women's center so by supporting women you're also supporting women in need and we're just really excited to be helping out as best as we can yeah. and get involved with the community also we will be changing charities every couple months or maybe every month so if there's a cause that you guys are very passionate about please share it with us and we'll keep it in mind for the future as small business owners we really just want to continue to grow Mm -hmm. and you know, like we said, this first collection was based on dead stock fabric, but for future launches, we will be trying out different sustainable practices. Right. So for example, we will always focus on using natural fibers and not synthetic ones. And maybe in the future, we'll still find great dead stock fabric and we'll have large amounts of it. So we'll still have collections where we may have pieces that are from dead stock fabrics, but just know that we will always use natural fibers for our collection. We really hope that Woman is not just a clothing brand. We really want it to be this community. strong community Mm -hmm. of women where we celebrate each other and talk about mm -hmm. things that are really important to us and this may be in the long-term future but we would really hope that we can do a pop-up here in LA a few pop-ups a few pop-ups maybe in LA or like San maybe Francisco cities. New York yeah. and that way we can meet you guys in person also have all the pieces with us mm -hmm. and that would just be a dream yeah. I would love for you guys to come feel the clothes try it on for yourself we love to meet you guys yeah and it will happen yeah it's gonna it will happen. happen someday <laughs> and also so I just want to say thank you guys so much for your continued support and also just allowing us to do this. This whole process has been really fun, but also nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm being completely honest, we're really nervous. Yeah. And even now I, I can feel you shaking on the I table know. and I'm shaking <laughs> on the table. We really put our heart and soul into this yeah. and we hope that that translates. Um, we hope that you guys see that and we hope that if we are doing anything that's not perfect right now that you will understand and know that we'll always try to do better. We're learning as we go. We're learning as we go 
go and that's the whole beauty about this platform I feel like we have made mistakes in the past when we were younger when we started our YouTube channel and if you guys have followed our journey you know we have grown so much and we just hope that we can continue to grow and for all of you that are watching that are entering early womanhood with us I hope that you feel as connected as we do and we know you're growing with us you know mm -hmm. we're not the same 16 year old kid right that we used to be I know this is Coming really up. exciting and I just have to say I'm couldn't be happier to do this with any other person. Oh, this is really special, you guys. This is special and like, Whaley and I... Oh, uh, why are you going? <laughs> well, uh, this has been like a really incredible experience. Not only do I get to work with my sister, but like mm -hmm. also Whaley is like my sister and I couldn't see us me doing this with anyone else. It's like yeah. truly a dream team. Remember in the beginning, we were like, I think, we thought about the idea one day when she was hanging out at my house and then the next day we were in a meeting already mm -hmm. and then after the meeting i think we both were like this is not gonna ruin our friendship like oh my you God. we had a whole talk about this yeah. yeah and it's important because before anything just our connection and our relationship is what is most important but mm -hmm. we both strongly knew that this is only gonna be extension of us yeah. and it's not ever gonna break us because mm -hmm. that's just not how our relationship is. Yeah, so. like we have stressful times, obviously. But we're there for each other and mm -hmm. I'm so glad to be doing this with Whaley. I couldn't, I couldn't do it alone and I couldn't do it with anyone else. So this yeah. is like a dream come true. Sound. It's late. Perfect. So this is how we're going. We're heading outside. ASMR. We're heading to the backyard. Oh God, it's hot. Playing? It's hot. What are your shoes? My feet. <laughs> am I overexposed well or am I looking glowy? Okay. Are we looking bronzy? I'm bronzy, baby. I'm pretty bronzy. Mm -hmm. You are. Can I have some? Mm -mm. Bitch. <laughs> This Get is my own. cup in my house with my water. Give it to me. But who poured it? <laughs> <laughs> who got the cup? Give it to me. <laughs> I feel like you ladies have answered most of the questions I've had. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you guys want to add on? Any last words that you guys want to say? Mm, I'll, I just want to say that I feel really grateful for this opportunity and to mm -hmm. be able to share this passion with my best friend mm -hmm. and I couldn't picture doing this with anyone else. The fact that I get to work with my sister mm -hmm. and with Whaley, it's like, it's seriously a dream because yeah. there's like the two most important women in my life. I mean, besides my mom too, but you know. Yeah, Oma, <laughs> she set us first. <laughs> My mom loves me. Love I just feel really grateful and mm -hmm. um, I feel lucky and thank you guys for all your support It really means so much to me and Whaley and we just hope to make you guys proud and we're learning as we go and we're not good We're not gonna be perfect, but mm -hmm. we're striving to be for me. I want to say the same things This is like my award to show. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> thank you mom. Yeah, I know um, but really like thank you everyone for giving us this opportunity I mean we haven't even launched yet. It's like a couple days before I know and I mean we we told you guys that something's happening yeah. and I'm already seeing a lot of the support mm -hmm. like so many people are like I don't care what this is <laughs> <Take Yeah. all laughs> <the money." laughs> so that just really goes to show like you guys are so down for us <laughs> well I think we should do a few shout outs oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. we just want to thank our team mm -hmm. so much everyone has been working so hard just mm -hmm. endless hours late nights mm -hmm. robin you're so talented and honestly this company would not be what it is mm -hmm. without you she plays such a big role in designing and she just curates everything mm -hmm. so nicely her taste level is like immaculate i look up to her so much <laughs> <laughs> i tell her all the time i'm like you know you're that one person i look up to the next person we want to say thank you to is luke Luke. Oh, Luke. Luke is a genius. He's so intelligent. He handles the business side of things. Like Luke, whenever you're around and we're in a business meeting, I feel so safe. I feel confident. You know us and you're able to just put it into nice words mm -hmm. and anything that comes out of your mouth sounds so much better. <laughs> and then we have Tyler. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. I mean, Tyler, I don't know how you do what you do. Yeah. Like, he does he, the finances yeah. and he's like a numbers genius. Yeah. He works on the business model and mm -hmm. Future 
financial plans. plans. Yeah. It's a lot of information to retain and mm -hmm. he does a really great job at it. So thank you so much, Tyler. You've been so helpful. Um, and Chris, Chris does all the creatives for like social. He uh, directed our website shoot. Mm -hmm. His wife, Carmen, shot the photos for our website. Mm -hmm. They're like a power couple. We appreciate you both so much. You haven't seen the website yet. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the lookbook. The lookbook. I'm sure you guys have already seen the lookbook. And yeah. if you haven't yet, it's up on Sophie's channel. Yeah. And that was shot by Benny. Oh, Benny. Oh, yeah, thank you, Benny. Yeah. He had not a lot of time to put together a concept, and I think he killed it. And of course, I gotta thank Wa. My man. Man behind the screen right now. He, Arms dying a little bit. I know. He's <laughs> hand holding this right now, so I can't even imagine. But thank you all for helping out mm -hmm. on our shoot yesterday, and then the shoot with Benny, and today. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate it. Yeah. We love you. So thank I you to you. everyone. <laughs> we are so excited. Yeah. I, I cannot believe we're launching in like six days honestly just cannot wait to please, see what you guys think please tag us tag women we want to see how you style everything i'm literally going to freak out when i see all I of your outfits it's going to be so cool for you guys to have and feel the pieces it's, mm -hmm. i'm really excited so yeah. and lastly i guess i want to close out by saying we hope you guys are excited for just entering early womanhood with us i think that's what this brand embodies and also represents mm -hmm. i think this is really our styles merging together now as we're entering this stage of our lives so yeah to womanhood. Cheers. <laughs> I don't have one. Cheers. Yeah, we love you guys. We love you. Thank you. Bye.